in the Vanguard newspaper that says six Spaniards, uh, real sponsors of protest, arrested. That's coming from the police. And the Inspector General of Police, Cayo de Egberto Egg, uh, said yesterday the police have arrested some of the real sponsors of rioters who hosted foreign flags and called for a change of government in the country in states as such as Kano, Kaduna, Zamfara, amongst others. We all know the relationship between you know, Russia, even the Wagner group, you know, that infiltrated Ukraine and, and the likes. It is almost in, I would liken it to be a war torn country. If we're having these country's flag waved at full mass in the country during a protest, then Mr. Jude, it is just about telling people, look, we want these guys to come in and help us. And I heard conversations about people saying, oh, you can't blame them. It is because they felt it is the, the armed forces flag that, you know, it is always stationed by the president. Mr. Jude, it is very laughable. But isn't that just possible? No, no, Mr. Jude, if you look at the Russian flag and the armed forces flag, there's a big difference. While there's uh, one, the Russian flag starts with the white. But so it's the same color. No, 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 right? it's, no, it's not the now, same. Now, what I'm it saying is, up, but a lot of Nigerians, there was, Nigerians, there was a question on Twitter. Nigerians were asking, why is the president standing behind a flag that looks like... <laughs> French. <laughs> there was there was that conversation on Twitter. If you were on Twitter, you would have seen. Of course, it. very obvious. now. Would you say that the people were also uh, just Mr. Joe? We, we all know that these are just conversations. You know, day to day conversations, just to either down tensions or raise them up. You see, the other flag beside the president. Most people don't know that flag has four colors. It has blue, red. Um, white and army green and that's the flag that proscribed the president as the GCFR actually that's one of the things I was saying that I was talking about education of the mind yesterday so Nigeria also I think our, our education system, and that's why I'm also calling on national orientation agency some of all these things that most of us don't know we need to know it so that we don't take advantage of this thing now you know a flag has been given to young Nigerians they don't even know what they were carrying probably a little amount of money has been given to them so there is need for proper education one on the size of Nigeria, irrespective of you, you need to know some of, the, some of the things that makes your president the president. Now, let's look at this. This one person has been shot by a military gun. If the the security details had said that this thing is going to be hijacked and they knew that some of these people have been a sponsor, maybe internationally, maybe these local sponsors also had uh, backings, wouldn't it have been nice to call some of these people before this protest on the 1st of August. Well, Mr. Jude, just like the president said, I mean, uh, uh, you, you'd have, you know, people who would always kick against your administration. If the government had, you know, gotten this security uh, intelligence intel that we were to have people hijack the protest, I don't think it was geared towards, you know, the hoodlums or probably the people causing mayhem. We're having some cases in the north, you know, to my fair knowledge, where we have people just take up on police vehicles, you know, take up on uh, police signposts. But the government could have stopped this. No, no, me, no, Mr. They Jim, had, it, if, they have, they, they had intel. Now, now they the could intel, have stopped the this. intel, like I said, yes. to be realistic, the intel is, you know, one of the major reasons why we had that intel was, you know, like this uh, issue of Russian flag and the, and the call for coup that we're seeing. Now, it is politically motivated because it's sending a different message other than, okay, we need the prices of things to come down, other than cost of living. But do you agree that Nigerians are hungry, though? Yes, of course, Mr. Jude. Nobody can sit here and deny the fact that uh, currently the index on our cost of living ratio is quite high.